Frank, just to follow up on your comments on Haiti, um, you spoke generally, but there are 16 Americans who are uh, still being held hostage there by one of the gangs. Um, what? I, I know this is a law enforcement matter, but what is this building specifically doing to help free the Americans? What urgency do you feel on this issue, and what, is, what does it say about the security situation? So I personally give an update on this issue every single day to the president, who is taking a deep interest in making sure we get every single one of those people home safely. The main thrust uh, of our effort thus far has been to deploy a significant number of uh, law enforcement specialists and hostage recovery specialists to work closely both with the ministry, the families, and the Haitian government to try to coordinate and organize a recovery. Uh, we are looking at every possible option for how to go about doing that. Um, and I will be sensitive to uh, what is obviously a delicate situation, not say more here, other than um, we have put the assets and resources in play that we believe can help bring this to a successful conclusion. But these things uh, operate uh, and have operated in Haiti historically on different timetables under different circumstances. And so we need to manage this situation as carefully as possible so that at the end of the day, we achieve our objective, which is the safe return of every single one of those, uh, both adults and children. And the, and the children aspect of this is something, obviously, the president is quite focused on to make sure they're taken care of and that they get home okay. It's going to take one more question, yeah.